So I've chosen to leave the Canada flag. And now I'm going to worry about changing the lighting on this layer right here. Now, because they're separate layers, I can go to my colors menu and I can choose something like hue saturation. And I can adjust the lightness and take the lightness down so that my colors darken a little bit. Now, the problem is that the clothing is getting better but her face and her arms are now losing color. And if I go to the extreme, you can really tell. So maybe I only want to bring the lightness down a little bit. But even that helps some. If I adjust the hue on this layer, then maybe what I can do is I can counteract some of the lightness. Maybe I can take a little bit of the saturation out to try and make her look a little more natural. But to be honest, it's not doing a very good job right now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just um, reset that and just take some of the lightness down a little bit and call it a day. Now we could also try the brightness and contrast, which we've done before, and just take the brightness down. But, but I re one of my reasons for not doing this is I really don't like losing all the different elements. Okay, so I'm just going to do that a tiny bit. And maybe I'll try the color balance. And color balance, in this case, I'm going to worry about the mid-tones. Let's see if maybe I can add a little bit of red and take away some of the yellow. Okay. So it's very difficult to do this properly. In all honesty, you almost want to just lasso out any skin tone because now you can see that she's no longer pink. And the more that I play with this, the less likely she's going to remain with her natural skin tone. Okay, the GIMP folks, the last choice that you might want to try under colors is called a filter pack. Now the filter pack is a little bit more unusual and that it's trying to do a number of these things all at once. So again, I'm going to stay with the midtones. Again, I'm going to stay with just the selection. Um, and let's try and see if I can. No, I don't really want to change the colors. Uh, maybe I can go with some less saturation. And Let's try to darken her a little bit. And when I hit OK, you can see the effect that was made. Now I'll just do Control Z and then Control Y until you can see the difference. Edit Undo and then Edit Redo, which is Control Y. So I can kind of go back and forth Z, Y, Control Z, Control Y, Control Z, Control Y. And you can see there's a couple of things that I really don't like about that. I like what it, how it dulls down her clothing, but I don't like what it does to her skin tone. And I really don't like what it does to the Canada flag. So you're going to try out different ones of those choices under the colors menu. Um, there are other choices you can choose, but I would suggest that you just stick with the ones I've shown you. See if you can um, dull her picture down. And again, this is one of the reasons why at the very beginning, this was a bad choice of a picture to try to merge with the other picture, specifically just because of the lighting issues that are going on.